Yeah, my name's Jimmy Jones, but um, everyone calls me Wombat. Yeah, look, I came out here about six years ago and I just fell in love with the place. And um, been out here ever since. <coughs> no one can bloody hear you out here, mate. You can do anything you f***ing want. Uh, things I do out here for fun would have to be whittling, uh, going for long walks through the bushes out here, and skinny dipping in the lake. This whole area through here is where I collect all my whittling sticks. Really tough wood through here, mate. And just heaps of it, you know. See this wood here, this is, um, I believe this is called Malibu, and it's just really strong for spears and stuff. This is my home and my favorite place in the world. Do you want me to take you for a tour? Oh, mate, this is really good, this. Come over here. See this tree here? Notice how it's a bit more lush than all the others? I'll tell you why that is, mate. It's because I piss on it every single day for the six years that I've been out here. I've got a little science experiment going and I've been seeing like, the benefits of pissing on trees compared to not pissing on trees, if you know what I mean. And um, it's been going really well, mate. It was only a little sapling when I started pissing on it. And now look at it, mate. It's the f***ing alpha male of the forest. My name is Professor Sinclair. I run a clinical psychology counselling service here in Melbourne. James is a very special case, and I, um, I don't normally disclose any information about my clients, but I think in this instance it's important that we talk about it. Yeah, so when James first came to see me, he, uh, he really only had a small social anxiety problem. But as time went on, it, um, it spiralled into what was really just a full inability to be able to talk or socialise with any other people. Uh, this, this eventually got worse and worse until he... He really completely removed himself from society. James, or Wombat, as he likes to call himself, has decided that he needs to live on his own. And I believe he's moved out to the bush to live pretty much as a hermit. As far as I know, he's made one or two attempts to contact his family. I don't know how successful these were, but I think he's doing okay. Wow, so do you think that uh, this is a good thing for James? I think if James doesn't want to be around people, there's no reason he should have to be. He's certainly not suited to talking to anyone, as you may have noticed. That about wraps it up, mate. Just letting you know if you need a piss, make sure you do it on this tree here. This here is my bed. I've sort of, if you notice there's just a slope over the whole sort of area around here. Now I made this to sort of counter that slope so I can sleep level and it's really comfy. These rocks act as a good insulator to the cold in winter and in summer they're just, I don't know, they're just plain comfy, you know mate. Sometimes I lie on my back like this. Bloody magnificent, isn't it, mate? Okay, you ready to start now? Yeah. yeah. So, tell us a little bit about your brother. Like, we always thought he was weird. Like, I don't know, I thought he was like retarded or something. Like, my parents thought he was gay, so I was like, good for you. But like, I don't know, kind of just left it at that. Like, until he left. Alright, so this little spot here, this is where I do all my thinking. And after a busy day, running around the bush and stuff, just come here to wind down. Oh, look, I came, came out here to the bush six years ago because I wanted to get away from people. But there was once a person I did love a girl named Stacy. In high school, she um, she broke my heart. You know, uh, I find that out here is the only place I can really 
get any rest from um, feeling sad about it, you know. One of the best things to eat out here, mate, is kangas. And I've mastered their mating call. Here, I'll give you a little, I'll give you a quick demo. I think all my calling worked because um, if you look through, if you look through there, it'll be quiet actually. If you look through there, you'll see there's a kangaroo in what looks to be, I think, its kid. Anyway, mate, I'll just once I catch the kangaroos, just stop filming because it gets a little bit gruesome after that. So these rocks here are. Uh, do I hear someone pissing? Come on! What's that? Did I tell you to piss on the tree? This little fella here, this is called a um, Tasmanian Ridgeback. It's one of the most deadly spiders known to man. If you get bitten by that little bastard, you'll be dead within 30 seconds. If you do happen to catch one without getting bitten though, they are quite good eating. I'll just, you guys really need to try a bit of this. It tastes delicious. Oh, fuck! It's bitten me! Are you right, mate? Do, you, do we need to get you to a hospital or something? I'm gonna die, mate. There's, no hospitals can help me. Oh, do you have any? Nah, I'm just fing joking, mate. I got ya. Take three. One. One. She, she said, said, Hello, mister, pleased to meet you. I want to hold her, yeah. I want to kiss her. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kiss her. Yeah. She smells the daisies. daisies. She smells the daisies. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She dropped me crazy. She dropped me crazy. Yeah. Oh, yeah.